With our web solution BL Draft approval, you can now easily review and correct your pure fleeting draft with just a few clicks. Our tool provides you with an efficient and time-saving approval process, and managing the BL drafts directly online ensures the highest degree of accuracy. Hello, my name is Felipe and I'm the product owner for the documentation web solutions at Hapag Lloyd. Today, I'm going to guide you through the BL Draft approval. We are going to start with the BL Draft list. Here, you will be able to see all drafts that are linked to your user ID. In the list, you can see all the BL numbers and the useful information related to them. You can navigate through it using the date range that is by default last 14 days but can also be changed to last 42 days. You can use search criteria to search for, for, for example, specific BL numbers or even booking numbers. Then you can also use the filters open for review, correction sent, approved and released, which are the document status. Apart from that, we have the document types view of pleading and serial. In the display itself, you can use the header to sort out the order of the columns. Now we are inside the CV view. You can have the option to edit the draft in order to start your correction. From this moment, you can have several fields in the header editable, such as the shipper, where you can write down specific information, pasting them or adding more information such as the address. From that, you can use these two buttons to toggle the information back on the original content or even undo your changes. After you do any changes in these fields, you can see on the right side the information that some specific fields were changed. Here in our example, shipper and consignee. In the body of the BL is a bit different. Instead of editing the fields, you can add comments. For example, you can click on the body in order to change the weight from 18,000 to 17.5. Also, the commodity, changing from furniture to ties. Besides that, you can add general comments for the whole BL or even attaching additional documents. In this example, I will add the container serial number as an image or a PDF document. Always the description is required. After edit, you can save for later or submit your changes. By submitting them, all of your corrections and required amendments will be sent to Hapagula team and they're gonna work on that. After a correction was submitted, you will be able to see all of your document details and also a summary with your requested changes. Here, how many pages with requested changes? Only one, and also the two comments that you wrote. Changed fields were only shipper and consignee. From that, you can now also email your receipt or download the receipt, and this document will have all of your changes consolidated in one PDF file. Now, if you're fine with your BL, you can click on this Approve BL Draft button to approve it. Here, you're going to be redirected to the approval screen where you can add specific manual instructions of any kind that you desire. And you can also attach the documents from this screen. It's not only during the correction process, but also during the approval. I'm adding here the container seal number. Besides that, you can also send structured approval instructions, such as changing the document type from your leading to CV view or vice versa. You can change the version of the BL to freighted or unfreighted if you desire, and also changing the place of issue. You can remain and change it as it was sent on the shipping instruction, or you can change to origin, destination, or adding your specific location. By clicking here, you also have a new option to add another location. After doing the approval, you can click on submit approval, you can cancel to commit back, or you can also download the BL draft. You will have this PDF document with all of the information related to your BL. By submitting approval, you can click continue. 
After your approval was sent, you will be redirected to this page. Here, you have the confirmation that your draft approval was successfully transmitted to Hapag Light, and also, you can see the document status was changed to approval sent. Lastly, you have the possibility to send a receipt to email or download it. With the receipt, same as the correction, you receive all of the information related to your approval and the confirmation that it was sent to Hapag Light. If you have further questions, you can always check. On the right side a bit below, our frequently asked questions. Here, you will be able to see answers not only about the product by itself, but also related to the process. This was the presentation of the BL draft approval. You can always give feedback by clicking also on the right side, give us ratings, and also write now anything that you desire. We are always checking your comments, and of course, we are happy to hear from you.